It's the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to draw 51 noses, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Well, let's start with some really simple noses on faces that look a bit like the cartoon character Tintin. They're just shapes stuck on the side of a circle, pointing up, down, or out like a one-way direction sign. You can add a bit of a moustache or... Wait a minute, what's going on here? Goodness knows what that one's all about. You can make noses long and sticky outy, which leads us on to a witch's nose covered in warts and looking a bit like a bent gherkin pickle. Grandpa's nose is much more comfortable with just a few friendly warts and a few hairs sticking out of them. And here's his faithful dog with his lovely, cold, shiny nose. <laughs> now what happens if we add a pair of spectacles? And what about some moustaches? Viva Zapata! A 1970s spectacular! Or a Second World War handlebar moustache. What a Bertie cabbage grates over the briny. Or would you like to be a little more artistic? Or have a great big walrus moustache like a Grand Duke or a Kaiser? Speaking of which, no, let's not speak about him at all. And moving on to some more realistic noses, we can start with a cute little snub nose followed by something a bit more hooked and witch-like. Well, this looks more like Concord taking off. It's a little bit hoity-toity. Sometimes you get strange bent noses that have either walked into doors or have been in a fight. Ah, here comes Concord again, coming into land this time, very snooty, looking down on the unfortunates below. And this one definitely belongs to an ex-boxer. Nice and straight, with a little curve on the end. This is a pretty normal nose, while this one is just a little more laid back. This has been crossed with a crow and is really a bit of a hooter. I've no idea what the owner of this nose has been up to, but the next one looks quite like Margaret Thatcher, if you remember her. Dennis! Dennis! She always seems so cross all the time. And what about a nice, great, big, friendly conk? And this belongs to Uncle Albert, who likes a little drop of whiskey once in a while. Now this nose is very aristocratic. Well, this one should be on the ski slopes. There's a little bobble on the end of the nose and this is straight down and probably needs a square jaw to go with it. Ah, here are three little manga noses. And what would Picasso have done? He'd have done two sides of the same face at the same time, which leads us on to iconic noses. That's the straight angle, the bent paper clip, the lean over, the zigzag, the coat hanger, the number five, and even more simple is the right angle triangle, the inverted right angle triangle, and the scalene triangle. You can have curvy iconic faces too, all the way round, out and about, and pointy. And here's the biggest hoter of them all. You can wave it around and do whatever you like with it. Finally, Pinocchio, who told lies when he should have known better. Well, if you enjoyed that, go to my website, www.shoerainer.com slash noses, and you'll be able to download this nosy crib sheet with all those noses on in one go. Make sure you're subscribed and keep coming back for more drawing lessons and advice. And did you know I have a daily video blog and a doodling channel too. Uh, try another video and in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. 
I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.